This is Chipper. Yep, he fell out of a tree when he was a baby, three times. Yep, he was really injured. He was attacked by a crow. The crow was going to eat him. And my wife Sue and I saved him, brought him home, and burst him back to health. He's got some nerve damage. His tail is uh, not normal. They use their tails for communication with other squirrels to to warn of predators or body language, let others know how they're feeling, and he can't do that, so. Cannot be returned to the wild, so we keep him. He's become kind of a pet now. Is very content, very tame. He's used to people. He likes human attention. Doesn't like to be on his own much at all. Very, very trusting. He does get baths occasionally. See, chipper, relax. Get the camera. Cut. Come on, show him your teeth. Got some really, really long teeth there. These of the. Yeah. Oh. This side here. Some strange feet. He's got little pads on the bottom of his feet that allow him to uh, calm down. I don't speak squirrel. I don't know what he's saying, but he's a little agitated. <laughs> he does like his massages and his attention. He's Loves attention. Loves his neck rubbed. Yeah. So he's approximately five, about five months old. He stays in a um, ferret cage, fairly large size. So pretty good size for him. He sleeps in a Crown Royal bag. Actually, he likes it over a traditional nest. He's got one of those uh, cat condos to climb on and run through and play on during the day when he's. He's out for about two hours in the morning and about two or three hours in the evening before sunset. And then he sleeps the rest of the night and day. Occasionally he'll get up in the middle of the night, come down, and get a drink of water, go back to bed. But he's uh, pretty active, loves to play.
and that's chipper.